friends and welcome to Adda 247, the official YouTube channel for Bankers Adda and SSC Adda. And you are watching CompTutors, your one place solution to learn computer awareness for various competitive exams. The word computer. The word computer has been recorded to be in use since the late 17th century and there it meant a person who performs calculation or computations. It is also used or recorded to be in use till the late 19th century where it meant a machine that is used to perform calculations. So by definition we have been using computers ever since the discovery of abacus which was the first mechanical calculator. So friends, by now, you might have guessed that this lecture or this session is all about history of computers. Whenever we talk about the history, the first question that arises in our mind is, when was the first computer invented? Well, the answer to this question is not so direct or easy, as there are many classifications of computer. But the first computer was invented or developed by Charles Babbage in the year 1822 and that computer was not what most of us would consider a computer today. So let us now take a look at the timeline of computers. From examination point of view, the important terms that you should learn are these terms and their inventors. Also you must know that what is the full form of these acronyms. For example, question can be framed in such a way that what is the full form for ENIAC, that is E-N-I-A-C. What is the full form for E-N-I-A-C? Then the answer will be Electronic Numeric Integrator Computer. So friends, let us study this timeline in a detailed fashion. In 1822, Charles Babbage began conceptualizing the difference engine which is considered to be the first automatic computing machine. Then in 1837, he worked on analytical engine and analytical engine was the first general purpose computer. to note is that Charles Babbage is called the father of computers and Ada Lovelace she worked on the analytical engine along with Charles Babbage and she is known to be the first programmer in the history. In 1946 ENIAC which is the acronym for Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer was the first general purpose computer or we can say the first digital computer which was developed by J. Prisper Eckert and John W. Markley. Then in 1949 they developed EDVAC and EDVAC is the acronym for Electronic Discrete Variable Automatic Computer. Then came the 1951 and in 1951 they developed UNIVAC. UNIVAC is the acronym for Universal Automatic Computer. UNIVAC was the first general purpose computer for commercial use. Unlike its predecessor ENIAC, UNIVAC was binary rather than decimal. J. Prisper Eckert and John W. Markley also played an important role in history of computer as the first computer company, Electronic Controls Company, was also theirs. So this was all about the inventions by J. Prisper Eckert and John W. Markley. And what all you need to know and learn and remember are these terms and their inventor name. Next is the invention of the computer mouse. 
In 1964, Douglas Engelbart invented the computer mouse. Researchers and people in those days were looking for an efficient method to interact with the information displays. They were considering some devices like light pens and joysticks, but they were not efficient enough. So to feed the need of the hour, computer mouse was invented by Engelbart. In 1971, Intel released Intel 4004. It was the first 4-bit CPU for commercial use. Then came the 1980s. In 1980s, Apple introduced Lisa, which is the acronym for Local Integrated Software Architecture. It was the first computer to use graphical user interface. Graphical user interface is an interactive mechanism which enables its user to interact with electronic parts of computers in a much easier way by providing icons and graphical visuals. Without GUI, computer experience would have been really different and not as we know it today. Imagine if you have to type everything, even if you have to type to make your computer execute a small command like moving to another folder or opening another file, it would be so hectic. That is why GUI is so important. So that was all about the history of computer. Now let's move on to the generation of computers. A generation refers to the state of improvement in the product development process. And by generation of computers, we mean the transition of computers from earlier devices to today's smart devices. Now you'll see a table in which the generation of computers are categorized according to their properties. This table is important and an example of how questions can be framed is vacuum tubes were used in which generation? So if you will study the table carefully, you can easily tell that the answer is first generation. In first generation, computers used vacuum tubes for circuitry and magnetic drums for memory and they were huge, taking up entire rooms. They used machine language, which is the lowest level programming language. Examples of first generation computers are Univac and Edvac. In second generation, transistors were used. The transistor was far superior to the vacuum tube, allowing computers to become smaller, faster and more energy efficient and more reliable than the first generation computers. In second generation, the use of assembly language and the early high level language became popular. Then came the third generation. The important change in third generation was the development of ICs or integrated circuit. Now many parts were miniatured and placed on a chip. In this generation, there was a drastic increase in efficiency of computers and also they consumed less power in comparison to the first and second generation. In the fourth generation, Intel earned the big bucks from the Intel 4004. The chip maker developed the Intel 4004 chip in 1971, which positioned all computer components onto a single chip. In 1981, IBM introduced its first computer for the home user and in 1989 Apple introduced the Macintosh and the industry of microprocessor bloomed. The increased power of small computers meant that they could be linked creating networks and this ultimately led to the development, birth and rapid evolution of the internet. Some important points to note in the fourth generation are that all types of high level languages are used in fourth generation computers. Fourth generation computers are portable and they generate less heat in comparison with the previous generations. Then there is the fifth generation of computers. 
it is still in development phase. The fifth generation uses ultra large scale integrated chips ULSI that contains millions of components on a single chip. These computing devices are based on artificial intelligence and are still in development. Although voice recognition is also under fifth generation which is already being used today. It is said that the aim of fifth generation is to create machines which can process and respond to natural language having the capability to learn and organize themselves. And in future, we can expect some flabbergasting features in our PCs probably. So friends, we have come to an end to this video of history of computers. If you want to know what all are the important chapters that you need to cover to study computer awareness, do visit our previous video of computers. We will provide the link below. And also, do subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss out on anything new. You can also download our Adda 247 app from Google Play Store. So that's it friends. Thanks for watching the video and we'll be back soon with another chapter in computer awareness.